In September 2010, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck within 40 kilometres of the CBD of New Zealand's second largest city, Christchurch. Since that time, there have been more than 11,000 aftershocks, many of these causing widespread damage. 26 of these aftershocks have been of greater than magnitude 5. The most destructive was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake in February 2011, located in the suburb of Christchurch, 5 kilometres from the CBD. This event resulted in the deaths of 185 people, with hundreds more seriously injured. These and subsequent earthquakes have resulted in thousands of buildings being deemed beyond economic repair. One such building to suffer major damage was the Christchurch Art Gallery. The primary structure of the building survived really well as it was designed to um, in an earthquake because of course this is one of the few buildings that is designed to keep its contents safe and after a period of time it became obvious that the liquefied ground had settled differently and the building itself settled differentially. So the, the art gallery had a bit of an issue in that the February 2011 earthquake wasn't particularly nice to it and the building which sits over a 6,500 square metre footprint it had settled differentially across the site. That differential sediment has taken away some of the capacity of the building to sustain future earthquake events that may happen in New Zealand. Now, that's a high risk in that the South Island sits on a main fault line and the likelihood is that there will be, in the life of this building, another significant event. We created a design and build tender scenario where we could put it out to specialist companies to offer solutions to re-level this building. Two respondents were a mechanical system where logically you might think, well, we'll get some jacks out and we'll, we'll lift the building up and straighten it out or cut the building and lift it and re-glue it back together. We had one respondent that came back that offered um, geotechnical solutions and that is modifying the ground to create vertical lift to straighten out the building. Mainmark's proposal involved a highly innovative solution to prepare, strengthen and re-level the foundations utilising jet grout, grouted subsoil columns and JOG computer controlled injection to produce the lifting pressures required while monitoring the lift in real time using a bespoke billion point survey system. It's an art gallery and it has a basement and that basement is underwater also. So a very substantial building and very complex in the way we had to go about resolving the problem. This is all done by keyhole surgery and no water spilt. What happens is that they located all the ground anchors by ground penetrating radar. Prior to releasing the ground anchors, we made sure we put in a big bore next to our site. So we sucked all the water out of the bore and it lowered the water table. Then we released all our ground anchors by coring holes through the concrete, finding them, chipping them away and releasing them. It's an interesting thing with the, the soil buildup in Christchurch, it's interlayered sediment beds of gravels and sands. What is interesting about this solution is those sediments and sands and silts and gravels are fantastic for making concrete. The gravel's already there and the matrix is already there. We just put grout in it, turns to concrete. So what we've used, the difficult things to design around in Christchurch, which is the foundation conditions, we have used those to our benefit to re-level this building. Before the project commenced, we scanned the entire building inside and out, creating a billion point survey providing unlimited reference points as and when required. This resulted in a virtual model we could enter at any time. To strengthen the ground, a soil block lifting platform was created under the building by the installation of a series of jet grout columns. The bulk of the columns were 3 metres in diameter and 4 metre diameter around the perimeter of the building, achieving an overall area replacement ratio of 20%. The 4 metre deep columns were installed from 2.5 metres below the basement slab level to 6.5 metres below the slab level in a regular triangular pattern with a 7.5 metre centre to centre grid spacing across the building footprint. We were asked to prove to the client that the, the main mark methodology was suitable to lift this huge building and that the ground was able to support the loads uh, during the uplift and maintain the levels for the long term. Finite element method 
analysis show that the soil treated with a large diameter jet grout columns will provide the required reaction platform and that the long-term settlement was negligible. The detailed geotechnical analysis also demonstrate a reduced liquefaction potential of the soil uh, within the treated zone and therefore any future significant seismic events would lead to an improved behavior of the soils beneath the building in terms of differential settlement. A total of 1.8 million kilograms of grout was injected to create 124 massive columns in the soils beneath the building. The columns were installed through penetrations of just 200 millimetres with minimal mess. High velocity jets from a drill strand loosen the in-situ soil and mix it with the cement to slowly form columns. The jet grouting can be formed around structures allowing underground pipework etc to be avoided. The site had very limited access for machinery, as well as for grout delivery and batching, spoil removal and disposal. Mainmark was required to carry out all level correction works from within the basement of the gallery. We only had 2.5 metres of headroom and only one vehicle access point, which was via a car park ramp. Every litre of injected grout required the removal and disposal of a similar volume of soil grout mix, so excess slurry and water coming back out of the ground was automatically drawn away through hoses and emptied into large waste containment tanks outside the building. Once the foundations were strengthened, phase two began. To raise and re-level the building, we employed our JOG computer-controlled grouting method. This is designed to re-level buildings that have subsided due to seismic activity or other ground movements. Why were they selected to do this? Because they could multi-point inject, multi-point lift in a very controlled fashion. They could accurately survey and monitor what was happening at what point. They could demonstrate to us that they had a high degree of control and it would just reduce our risk of secondary cracking quite significantly. With the JOG method, computers control the grout injection process across a large number of widespread injection points. Injection points are core drilled through the footings across the building. Small quantities of grout are injected at each point in a continuous, predetermined sequence, gradually and precisely re-leveling the building. This is the equivalent of performing keyhole surgery to a building. These require just 40 millimeter penetrations. Okay, so on the computer screen here, you can see the integrated computer grouting circuitry that we installed across the entire basement of the art gallery. The circuitry consisted of 350 injection locations. So you can see here circuit one identified as pump system one, pump system two, right the way across the building until we get to pump system 10. Each of these injection points was continuously injected, raising the building millimeter at a time. 1.5 million liters of grout was injected through eight kilometers of reticulation hoses. With limited access, Mainmark built a temporary batching plant where over 16,525 kilogram bags of cement were hand mixed. The injection of grout took 44 working days and required just 22 men. But it's not just about grout, cement, injectors and hoses. Computers were a vital tool of the process. For the re-leveling of the art gallery, Mainmark used five proprietary computers to control the injection quantities and sequencing. These were housed in a temporary computer control room that was built within the basement. Each computer can control up to 128 injectors, including control of the quantity delivered, the delivery time, sequence of the injection, and the delay between injectors. The computers are also able to bypass injectors when required. As the art gallery collection was to remain on site, Mainmark designed and installed a custom dust extraction filtration system to manage cement dust. This ensured there was no risk of cement dust entering the art gallery ventilation system, keeping the artworks and staff safe. But how do we accurately monitor the lift, including compensation for the fact that the monitoring equipment itself was positioned within the moving structure? There was no system available that could do the task. Therefore, we theorized that it was possible and approached Trimble. Together, we developed a bespoke monitoring system. We took existing equipment and used it in a different way. We were able to monitor the progress of the lift 24 hours a day from over 400 locations simultaneously and in real time. Five Trimble robotic stations and over 300 monitoring prisms were positioned inside and outside the building. Captured data was transmitted wirelessly back to the control room in real time. 
changes could be made to programming as required. Main mark operators could watch on screen as levels gradually rose along every section of the floor. The client, the Christchurch City Council, had some strict requirements. All construction impact was to remain within the building footprint. There was to be no impact to the external landscape such as car park toppings, footpaths and roads. All works had to be conducted whilst power for the art gallery was live and all services, gas, power, water, wastewater and telecommunications had to be made flexible and safe to accommodate the lift, all while being occupied by staff working at all times. The building weighs 30,000 tonnes with column loads of up to 3,900 kilonewtons, so we had to ensure that the increased load due to the incremental stress of the building uplift did not create long-term settlements greater than 20 millimetres. With a project of this size and complexity, it was imperative that Mainmark establish and nurture an extremely good working relationship with all other stakeholders. The Christchurch City Council's project team consisted of PACE Project Management and Oricon Group as their engineering advisors. Mainmark's project team consisted of Harrison Grierson, KGA, Geotech Consulting, Heisei Technologies, Trimble, Geosystems, KOA, CGC, with the help of our virtual building, we provided weekly updates at the project control group meetings or as often as required. We were able to show them daily or hourly the progress in regards to level change, building movements and materials consumed, all at the push of a button. The client told us that having access to this level of detail as well as the ability to see progress in real time gave them confidence in the system as they could literally see it working. It also gave them peace of mind that we were the right company for the job. We successfully restored the Christchurch Art Gallery to plus or minus 10 millimetres across the entire foundation. This was a landmark project for Mainmark, as well as a significant advancement in ground improvement and building re-leveling technology in general. It is the largest building globally to be re-leveled and lifted to this extent, utilising innovative ground strengthening jet grout columns and computer controlled injection. When Mainmark approached us about this project, we knew our solution could bring an efficient means to monitor the structural integrity during the ground engineering. But the way the system was implemented was revolutionary and it has changed the product for the better and increased our addressable market for structure monitoring. For example, the way we visualise the data now is tailor-made for this industry. We need a gold-plated engineering certificate so we can borrow works of art from elsewhere. I think it's going to take time because the reputation of Christchurch now is as an earthquake city. But our case is going to be helped enormously by the fact that our building has been levelled and that its seismic strengthening is what we need to operate into the future. It is quite staggering when you look at what we've achieved. What we thought was so difficult to begin with now seems so easy. So it's a, it's a real tribute to the guys who did it, uh, the confidence they had to do it, the professionalism that they applied to it, um, the engagement that they had with the, the client consultant team in terms of answering all our queries, and we had many, many questions. They gained um, our trust, which is exactly what we wanted, and, and delivered. And they delivered absolutely on time and absolutely to the budget.